and petitioned their way to the Olympic trials. Amy Chow gets set for beam, trying to overcome a mishap on the uneven bars in the last rotation. And what happened here is she actually came a little bit too close to the bar on this release skill, and that doesn't give her time or enough swing to set up for this next element right here. Can't get her hands around the bar. That smarts. The great thing is most gymnasts, when they have a fall like that, they lose the bonus in addition to the fall. She's so overloaded. She still starts from a 10, so it's just the fall ends up with a 9.125. Not a disaster. Last night, when asked about the leaders of the team, Amy Chow was one of three names mentioned by Bella Caroli to our Beth Ruyak. Maloney, Ray, and Chow. Amy's coaches, Diane Amos and Mark Young, were most worried about this event for Amy, but the first night of competition, she had one of the top scores. And watch this element, full twisting, back somersault. Just imagine all that goes on, and she does it with her legs straight. I'll tell you what, that skill alone puts her at the same level as top international athletes. Pretty, pretty combination right here. Again, giving her lots of bonus points. She had no problem connecting them. Amy is the only Mag 7 gymnast that really never, oops, small balance check there. That'll cost her a little bit. She's really the only member from that 96 gold medal team that never stopped training. Big skill. <laughs> Good purple though again. That was our own. So there's no carryover emotionally or physically or anyway from our misfortune on the uneven. Amy Chow with her coach Mark Young looks happy with a 9.625. She should come close to home.